A strong economy requires access to affordable energy. One very attractive option is fusion, because nuclear fusion would be an efficient source of electricity. Society would benefit from the development of fusion energy because it would lead to cleaner and more affordable electricity. Nuclear fusion occurs when atomic nuclei fuse together to form one or more different atomic nuclei. The difference in mass between the reactants and products lead to a release of energy. One rationale for pursuing the development of fusion energy is the inexhaustible fuel which can be collected from seawater. The development of fusion energy could improve standards of living and create good-paying jobs. And fusion energy is safer than fission energy because there are no chain reactions or harmful byproducts. Fusion energy is the energy source that powers the sun, and we can produce fusion energy on Earth inside a compact stellarator. A compact stellarator is a power system that uses a low aspect ratio, helically symmetric magnetic field configuration to confine a high density, high temperature plasma for the production of fusion energy. Our design uses an optimized magnetic field configuration to confine a stable, steady state plasma. The compact stellarator produces electricity by turning water into steam, then using steam to turn a turbine to produce electricity. This is done by running water through a molten lithium bath. The compact stellarator produces high-density, high-temperature plasma inside a toroidal-shaped vacuum chamber by heating a gas with a high-frequency gyrotron. The gyrotron ionizes the gas, and the strong magnetic field confines the ions and electrons until the plasma reaches the density and temperature necessary for fusion. The byproducts can then be used to heat the lithium bath that surrounds the plasma to produce steam leading to the production of electricity. The first step in the process is to create a vacuum inside the inner and outer chambers. The second step is to fill the outer chamber with liquid neon. The third step in the process is to turn on the high temperature superconducting magnets. The fourth step is to turn on the high frequency gyrotron. The fifth step in the process is to heat the electrons with microwaves. The sixth step is to create a high-density, high-temperature plasma. The seventh step in the process is to heat the molten lithium with the byproducts of the fusion reactions. The eighth step is to run water through the molten lithium to produce steam. The final step in the process is to use the steam to turn a turbine to produce electricity.